Hi, I'm David Lopez, Application Sales Engineer for Tempo Communications. The Tempo Communications FSP200 is a core alignment fusion splicer that is used to splice fibers in all FTTX applications. The precise alignment utilizes six motor performance to align the fibers, which provides industry leading low insertion loss and near zero reflectivity for the most demanding fiber projects. The FSP200 is housed in a compact, ruggedized chassis, which is rated IP52, has a drop rating of 76 centimeters, and can withstand vibration environments up to 10 hertz to 500 hertz with a spectral density of 0.03 grams squared per hertz, making it ideal for the most demanding work environment. Screen capture, attenuator mode, and splice on connector capability are all offered as standard features using the intuitive touchscreen interface. The FSP200 is offered in conjunction with the FCL200 in kit form and also with the FCL200, the PA1171 5 in 1 stripper, and an extra battery, all packed into a ruggedized carry case for safe travel and storage. The following is showing how to splice two fibers using the Tempo Communications FSP200. It is recommended to use splice profile number one for standard single mode fiber. Place the splice protector onto one of the fibers. Remove approximately 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters of the buffer and acrylic coating from fibers to be spliced using the PA1171 fiber optic stripper. Clean the fiber with 99% pure isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Place the fiber in the appropriate fiber adapter. Place the adapter with fiber in the FCL200. Place the cleaved fiber, still in the fiber adapter, into the FSP200 on the left-hand side. Cleave the other fiber. The two fibers should be symmetrical with respect to the electrodes. Close the windscreen. Press the start button to initiate the splice if the auto start is not enabled. The fusion splicer will analyze the fiber cleaves and align the two fibers and perform the fusion splice. When the approximate splice loss is displayed, open the windshield and carefully remove the fibers from the adapters one at a time. Position the splice protector symmetrically over the splice. Place the splice protector in the heater oven. Close the heater door and push the heater button if the auto start is not enabled. When the splice protector is fully shrunk, the splicer will beep. Remove the shrunk splice protector and place it into the cooling tray. All service and technical support is located at the Tempo Communications Facility located in Vista, California. <music>